Hi everyone, I'm Aristarian. I will tell to you about two weeks vacation in Bali. For the first week in Bali, first place I'm going to visit is Canggu. Transportation from the airport is to the taxi to Canggu. It would cost about 200,000 Indonesian rupiah to get to Canggu. As I want a place to relax, I choose Aston Canggu Beach Resort that costs about 530,000 Indonesian rupiah per night. This resort is the only one in Canggu with a rooftop pool and what's more is it overlooks the two Belong Beach which is an amazing spot to be a for sunset. After a relaxing day in Canggu, visiting the one of famous Bali sunset at Pura Tanah Lot is a most a beautiful ocean front temple. It's a popular tourist destination. For the second week in Bali, I'm going to visit Ubud. To get to Ubud from Canggu is by using Goje. It will cost roughly about 80,000 Indonesian rupiah. Ubud is known as the spiritual and cultural center of Bali. Ubud is home to many temples and yoga retreats, but there is so much more to do than that. Ubud is the perfect starting point to visit amazing waterfall and famous Tegalalang rice terraces. The Tegalalang rice terraces belong to the most beautiful place to visit in Bali with countless layers of rice terraces within a lush tropical setting. Best time to visit is early in the morning. The entrance fee costs about 15,000 Indonesian rupiah per person. Within the rice terraces, there are some swings and hammocks where you can take pictures for a small donation. This is the bridge where the two rivers meet in Central Ubud. The 2 km long Kampuhan Ridge Wall is very popular with both locals and visitors. It's free for everyone. The waterfall Kartolampo is a beautiful big wall of water which is popular to climb up. And it costs about 10,000 Indonesian rupiah only. After visiting Ubud, I'm going to visit Sidemen. Sidemen is located in the eastern part of Bali and a lot more quiet than Ubud. Tukat Cepung is a probably one of the most famous and touristy waterfalls in Bali and it costs about 10,000 Indonesian rupiah per person. After visiting Tukat Cepung waterfall, I'm planning to visit Pura Besaki temple which is, is the largest and holiest temple complex in Bali. It's also called Bali's mother's temple. The entrance fee to this temple is 600 Indonesian rupiah per person. For the last week in Bali, I want to visit to Gili Trawangan. Gili Trawangan is one of the three Gili Islands just off the coast of Lombok. To get to Gili Trawangan is by using the Gili Gateway fast boat. A return ticket costs around 800,000 Indonesian rupiah. One of the best things to do in Gili Trawangan is to rent a bike and explore the island. The bike rent costs about 70,000 Indonesian rupiah per day. In Gili Trawangan, I'm planning to stay at Lapirat on Sunset Side. It costs about 700,000 Indonesian rupiah one night. On certain night, the property holds free movie screening on the beach. Munduk is located in northern Bali and home to the most beautiful waterfall on the island. The climate in Munduk is a lot cooler because it's located in a mountain. The entrance fee for Munduk is 20,000 rupiah per person. Next is to Handara Gate. Iconic Handara Gate has become one of the most famous photo spots in Bali. It's located only a couple of minutes away from Ulundanu Bratan Temple. The entrance fee is about 30,000 Indonesian rupiah per person. After visiting Handara Gate, I'm going to Wanagiri Hayden Hill. It is another great photo spot in the Munduk area close to Ulundanu Bratan Temple and Handara Gate. This place offers the most amazing viewpoints over Twin Lake. It costs about 600 Indonesian rupiah per person. Wanagiri Hayden Hill offers different photo spots such as swings, bird nest, wooden platform, and bamboo construction. Definitely a great place to make some memorable holiday snaps.